So we had a little incident here, or maybe accident. Yeah, that's not how that's supposed to come out. Um, I'm not sure if it's a battery fault or what happened exactly, but this thing uh, dropped in a neighbor's yard, and thank God that's uh, what it did, is it dropped in the yard without causing any damage. And the night before, I also had it crash as well and hit the top of one of my other neighbor's houses and then hit their uh, metal patio roof, which startled them pretty good. So, um, what I'm going to show you here is we're just going to take the... I've already taken all the screws out of it, so I'm just going to go ahead and split this thing apart. It's got locating dowels on it, so that makes it a little tougher to get it to come apart, and that's probably what we heard just fall out. Here's a look at the innards. That's a good size main board, and I'm pretty sure that over here is the GPS. So I'm going to take some get right here, some JV weld and a 3D printer pin, and put this back together the best I can. And in case we've got issues with the motors. Uh, causing it to go into uh, emergency shutdown to protect the electronics in it. I got new motors coming and I'm going to uh, put a whole new set of those in it as well and then bench test these individually and see what's going on with it. So, I'll, uh, I'll bring you back in a couple of days once I got this thing put back together and flying and uh, show you what how it worked out once I got it put back together. Um, I'm working on doing a rebuild on it. It was involved in a bad accident and busted this lower part of the shell all, all the way off and I got it super glued back into place and I'm going to JV weld it uh, back together and give it four new motors and blades and blade guards. Uh, I will keep the original shafts and gears. I don't have any replacements for those and those are fine. Uh, there's the electrical part. The main board and there's the GPS receiver. Um, oh, yeah, and on these, they've got a camera and that moves back and forth, so it mounts like that. And you can either look straight ahead or straight down with it, even. Here's the remote for the X8 Pros. It's got camera down and up on the controller and take picture or take video. So here we go. That's uh got that thing all fixed up, looking good as new. Bet you can't even tell which one I busted. <laughs> Slick, huh? The 3D dealer pin does a great job. So here we go, we're gonna fire it up and let it do its thing. We'll see how it works here in a minute. So, I've paired the remote up with it and just waiting on the GPS. Hopefully that's still working. Well, there it goes to doing the flashing thing. Then we'll do the calibration and see about getting it to fly. Alright, calibration is complete. Look at that, flying good as new. Try the go home thing. Shout, it's gonna go home. Close enough. Okay, I'm not videoing. I'm just gonna have fun. So here we go, all fixed up. You wouldn't even know which one it happened to, huh?
Oh yeah, those are definitely new caps on there. Definitely new caps. But don't mind that there's a uh, X8 box there and another one sitting over here, you know. I mean, don't, don't notice that or anything. Yeah. We got a second one. I am going to fix the other one, but um, we did get us a backup here off eBay for even cheaper than we got. We got our first one. It too was brand new for less than what it was going to cost us to get two batteries, so couldn't resist. There's the charger. battery. Yay. That's what I was afraid wasn't in there. So cool. We'll be able to try this out today. Hopefully. Is there another one in it? Oh. Yeah, that's cool. Oh man, he would have done better if he would have just showed what he had on there. So I realize that uh, this is an older drone and most people aren't as interested in it, but we are over here. And there's the difference between that and an, the size of an X5. And there's a, another X5. that were showing them on YouTube showed that they had a stick that held all the propellers to together whereas this package in here is a little different I did see somebody else on eBay sell, selling another one of these uh, that did have that packaging but the box looked different um, so my video is not going to be on putting this together um, I'm going to get it assembled and then I'm going to try to do a video showing how to properly calibrate it uh, so that it won't do that toilet bowl thing that everybody's complaining about. So, I'm bringing you along for that here in a little bit. So, here I've got this thing all assembled. Got the blades on. Got the camera. I've got a 64 gig card I'm going to stuff in there instead of the 4 gig it came with. Oh, I'm so excited it actually had the batteries with it. Um, got those suckers all charged up. There's the second one. So I'm about to go get my kids here in a minute and let them have a gander at this. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's going to get to fly this thing. Here's the busted one uh, as of today. This is April 16th. Um, there's the side that I've <laughs> JB welded back together. Uh, I can't get it to snap on there, right? imagine that, right? after doing all this to it, huh? Well, really it wasn't, I've got the JB weld uh, straightened out. But, uh, you'll notice that's definitely not anything close to a perfect circle. So, these little silver round things here you see that are, I don't know, just some kind of, some kind of spacer doodad. It won't line up with this oddball shaped hole so I'm going to have to take my uh, improvised Dremel and round this out a little more and make it look a little more retarded uh, but yeah I wanted to go with orange on this thing uh, it doesn't look so great because um, when I put the second coat on there it did some kind of weird wrinkly thing it looked awesome before that it even almost looked like it was made that way but not so much now, and I'm missing a lens right there. But anyway, uh, I'm slowly, 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 slowly putting this one back together. So that's the status of it right now. Is I just need to get on this. And it's not telling how long it's going to sit before I finish that part now, because I decided I'm not going to sell that one. I'm just going to fly and enjoy it like I wanted to. 
<laughs> so I'm on break from work right now and I'm gonna go fly this and get back to work and also check out sharingthetruthinlove.com got lots of articles on there about the Lord and Savior of the world and also you can read the good old King James Bible the pure Cambridge edition 1769 uh, have a gander. Also, check out this channel, all the other stuff I've got on here. I've got playlists to categorize it all. Uh, got lots and lots of content on here. Have a gander. Also, please thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and all that stuff. Uh, any money that I make off of this here YouTube channel, it directly benefits the homeless in my area. I provide uh, footwear, clothing, Bibles, food, and some other things. Hey, help me help out uh, my local homeless neighbors. And hey, thanks again for watching, and as always, praise the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. May He richly bless and guide you and your families. Take care. I love y'all.